I'm done with the conversation now. Sit back down. I'm sat. Fly away, my little Akuma, and evilize her! From this day on, I shall be known as Hawk Maw. <laughs> In our last tale, Rex Lapis was walking alone in the mountains. He heard a remote voice, unlike any other, coming from a crack in the earth. Most of the ancient Geo life forms that live below Liyue are blind, having not seen the sunlight for an age. The voice was sometimes sad and song-like. Other times it was loud and thunderous. The Lord of Geo searched here and there before finally unearthing a strange stone from the bedrock. That's how Ejdaha was. I answered his wish and took him above ground. The Lord of Geo took pity on the rock spirit and carved it into a magnificent work of craftsmanship, a vivid representation of a dragon. I bestowed him with a pair of eyes to see the world, and came to an agreement with him. With his fingers, he made two eyes, quicker than words could tell. Lightning flashed and thunder roared, and a living, breathing dragon soared into the clouds! I agreed to let him live among the people above ground. But if the day ever came when he brought ruin to order, he would once again be sealed in the dark. The dragon accompanied the Lord of Geo, fighting campaigns alongside him in the four corners of the world. We have a saying to eulogize these events. The crash of a spear brought billowing dust. The mountains and waters made way at the sound. The sight of a dragon bestowed with a touch the promise of rainwater blessing the ground. Hal Shonley became poor. Originally, Shonley was rich. He had a huge mansion and cars that were over 100,000. One day, Shonley met a girl named Barbie. He fell in love at first sight. Little did Shonley know Barbie was a gold digger. Shonley continuously took Barbie to dates and gave her money when she asked. After a while, Shonley realized he had no money left and later on Barbie found out. Barbie got furious with Shonley and left with all HIS money. After that, nobody would hire Zhongli because of how poor he was. But then he found a knight of Favonius, and they hired him. He realized he wouldn't make any money, but he still wanted to save lives. So while Barbie was living her life in a huge mansion, Zhongli was saving lives. I have a great many names. Though when on leave, I tend to go by Zhongli. like seafood. Just seeing it reminds me of that slimy texture and that scent that just won't wash off. As for why I hate it, it's a long story. So let's just say my memory is a little too good. Yeah, I did it. I killed him. Nice to fucking meet you. Son of a bitch. Yeah, bitch on the flex, my eyes. Little bitch that you cost your life. Don't you